Should fossils be sold to the general public just to have? Well, ThinkGeek, the very popular purveyor of many things that I like online, uh, is selling 14, for $14.99, you can have a hadrosaurid dinosaur uh, vertebrate, and that is, you know, a duck build uh, dinosaur that you may recognize from The Land Before Time or uh, Jurassic Park, even. Um, and it's caused a very divisive argument. Should these vertebrates be for sale? Do they still have scientific merit? Or does this help the scientific community uh, by spreading? Awareness and enjoyment. Dinosaur love. Dinosaur love. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's been very divisive. What do you think? I don't know. Um, think Geek, as much as I love their stuff as well too, and mm. you know oh, I yeah. buy a lot of my holiday <laughs> everything I own <laughs> on on Think Geek. But there is something about that brand identity that I think actually does kind of cheapen the the dinosaur bones a little bit. And for me, the magic and the mystery comes from how rare they are, what they represent, mm -hmm. how old you know they are, and what you can extrapolate from um, that little piece of bone into a creature that lived well beyond our possible comprehension as far as time scale goes. Yeah, and I mean, I'm a huge dinosaur nut. I knew every name of every dinosaur when I was a kid. I still am. Um, and you know, in theory, I would like to have a dinosaur bone, but but really. I don't know. I'd rather go to a museum and see it. Right. Um, and I, I mean, and there's not like there aren't a lot of museums around. Right. Um, and I think it's, you know, there's this need to own pieces of things. And I feel the same way I do about some certain eBay auctions, which I, you know, about just the creepy ones. I don't need to explain that to you. Um, but I think they're, they're not a toy. It's a piece of history. It's like saying, well, there's a meteorite. I'm going to have a piece of a meteorite. I don't know. I feel like that belongs in a place where it can be studied. Now, Think Geek, I know, came out and said that they're not, um, that this is from private land, first of all, because it's illegal to take uh, a dinosaur bone from public land. Right. Um, they said it's private land, so they can sell it, and that there's there's such small pieces that How you can't get anything. Have? I don't know. And is it, is it literally like, I mean, are we talking like fingernail-sized chip, like where you can't get any discernible they're, they're, data from it? They, or? That they had said that these were scientifically insignificant right. uh, pieces of bones, and that they had been surface, surface exposed and were not really... But you can still get, theoretically, you can still carbon date even a fragment. Yeah, you can. And you can get, if it's in good condition, uh, you know, comparable DNA, depending on how old it is, mm -hmm. you know, but I don't know, is really anything scientifically insignificant when it comes to something like dinosaur well, bones? It's also not really, I mean, they had said this came from private land in Montana. Right. Uh, but from what I've read about the, the field of selling paleontological uh, Artifices, pieces, yeah. uh, objects, uh, significant pieces, right. is that it can be kind of hard to discern what is poached and mm. what is uh, ethically or ethically <laughs> taken. Yeah. Um, so it's it's hard. It's kind of a murky field. They did say that. I mean, they did kind of say that that it was from their point of view. Or I don't. I, I didn't see any documentation. I would like to see documentation from scientists that said that says something along the lines of we have deemed this scientifically insignificant yeah. or it's okay. I can't wait to see okay. who the, the, there's going to be a scalped paleontologist out there who's going to, or a scab, <laughs> a scab paleontologist is going to come out there and verify these bones at some point. That's, I know, right? That could, that could happen. Hey, um, you know what? If you buy a bone, please don't clone. <laughs> Did we learn nothing from the movies? Did we don't learn do it. Nothing? Well, well, scalpers don't have cloning technology. <laughs> um, uh, that's fascinating though. It's still, it still to me is very, I agree. It, 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 it's a very fine line because even in the 1900s, people privately sold collections all the time in the, in the mm -hmm. you know, the anthropological and paleontological like circuits. Mm -hmm. But those were between people in their fields and their private collections. Yeah. You know. But if you look back at history too, when um, when Egypt and Egyptology was very very popular, yeah. people were you know grabbing mummies and keeping them in their dens just for like party you know party decoration, Ooh. or they were using them actually as. Um, as uh, were people fuel eating them? for, oh. I hope people weren't eating them. Ew! Um, but I think they people were using were them, them as fuel for trains. I, yeah, yeah. and it's it, rough. It's sort of just. It seems like. Um, I mean, I'm just a, a giant science nerd, but I think it, it, to me it feels like a little disrespectful to the. Well, the field. And I, and I'm reading a book right now, the short history of nearly everything by Bill Bryston, and he actually has a really interesting story that he tells in which people from the pa you know, paleontological industries were trying to 
collect fossils and they were hiring local workers to try to go and collect these bones and he was paying 10 cents per bone they found. Wow. All right? And what happened is, is that he got these bones back and realized that they had been taking them and shattering the bones <gasps> so that they could get more pieces and wow. get more no. money out of it, you know? So I think as soon as you, you know, throw money into the equation and you kind of make it more of a commerce, like, so science should never be monetized. Yeah, yeah. maybe it should never be monetized. Yeah. You know, that, that's what I'm getting from this. I agree with that. Well, I feel if a scientist or a re reputable scientist were to be able to examine these and, you know, deem, okay, there is nothing scientifically significant we can learn from this, I guess you can sell it. Uh. It's, it's, it's just a quick buck, though. I yeah. mean, and it's a publicized. So, again, it comes down to the fact that, like, uh, given a hundred years ago, this probably would have happened anyway. We just wouldn't have known about it. Right. You know? Mm -hmm. So at this point now, because of the internet and our ability to get information at the blink of an eye, uh, we know about everything. 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 How about just sell, like, really cool dinosaur bone replicas? They do do that. You yeah. can have it painstakingly recreated. Yes. From an actual skeleton. I like this. I just like dinosaurs. I'm sorry. So <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, that's fair. If you're a dinosaur enthusiast and you, you really care about it, then maybe that's something you would gravitate toward. Yeah, there are items for purchase in the world. <laughs> <laughs> that is the most... Besides the bones for fourteen ninety nine, it is it is wow. sold out right now. I don't know if that is because of they're actually sold out or perhaps they were taken down I'm assuming it's while limited. we legally figure this out. They probably, yeah. I, that's what I'm thinking, is they probably, even even if those... If, if Thinky can do it, then someone else is going to try to find a way to do it, just yeah. like they yeah, do. That's where and we're we getting can get murkier. into smashing bone territory, and I don't want that to happen. Destruction and right. poaching and fraud at that point. It, it does lead down a very uh, dubious path, to say the least. Right. What do you think, audience? Should these bones be for sale? And tell me the truth. Would you actually buy one? Let us know why you think yes or no for this uh, in the comments below, and please be sure to subscribe for more.